breaking, hundreds of raging migrants just stormed U.S. border checkpoint, videos. U.S. Customs and Border Protection officials have suspended northbound and southbound vehicle and pedestrian crossings at the San Isidro port of entry, officials told Fox News. It was not immediately clear if any members of the caravan made it past the point of entry into the United States. Fox News had confirmed early Sunday through an organizer for Pueblo Sin Fronteras, the group helping organize the leading Central American migrant caravan, that members of the caravan were planning to attempt to cross the point of entry at San Isidro, California, on Sunday afternoon. In anticipation of the planned effort, U.S. border officials said they had deployed additional personnel to the San Isidro port of entry on Sunday, including air and marine agents. The developments come as Mexico's incoming government denied reports Saturday that it had struck a deal with the White House to keep asylum seekers in the country while their claims moved through U.S. immigration courts. President Trump, for his part, again threatened to close the entire southern border if no deal could be reached between the two counties. On Saturday, the first episode of caravan-related violence directed at U.S. authorities was reported by U.S. Border Patrol in Arizona, as a 31-year-old Honduran man who apparently split off from the caravan threw rocks at agents in a helicopter after setting a tree on fire. The prospective deal between the U.S. and Mexico was seen as a way to dissuade thousands of Central American migrants from seeking asylum in the U.S., a process that can take years. The legal bar for claiming asylum is high and generally requires applicants to show a specific risk of persecution based on factors such as race, nationality, politics, or religion. Trump administration officials have characterized the vast majority of asylum claims as fraudulent or legally insufficient, and have taken steps to reduce the backlog of asylum.